How's it going guys and welcome to Game Involved. I'm Shifty Cow and in today's video we have another loadout for you guys so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more awesome gaming content. So for this loadout I like to call it the PC Gamer Loadout and before you decide to leave a comment starting a platform war I'm just going to disable the comments if I see anything like that or just remove the comment because I really don't want to see that stuff on the video but anyways I decided to call it this because a lot of times when I'm watching game clips on Twitch or YouTube and especially when they're playing on PC, I always seem to see a clip like this where they have the MP443 and they hit fire it just to extreme ranges. I don't know what it is, but it's always the MP443 and they just hit fire for days and they usually get kills because this thing is really effective at hit fire, especially at some pretty decent range. I was actually fairly impressed with how well I was actually able to hit my targets. So I had two rules that I used while I was playing with this loadout, and the first one's pretty obvious, is I couldn't ADS, I had to hit fire only, and the second one is I could only use the MP443. Now the MP443 has an amazing fire rate for a pistol. If you're able to tap fire really effectively, you can actually get some amazing kill streaks just because it shoots so incredibly fast. Now personally, I really enjoy skill cannons where they do a bit more damage, but they're not quite as fast, but something like this on PC is definitely amazing because Obviously, on an Xbox controller, there's a lot more motion that you have to put in to shoot because the triggers have a pretty decent range they have to go down, but on something like a computer, you're just going to be clicking a mouse and that's going to be a lot faster. So, if you've ever seen a controller that's used for a tournament or maybe a custom scuff controller or something like that, usually they have a shortened range of motion on the triggers, just so that way it's a lot faster and easier to just tap fire it. It's more like a button than it is a trigger. And obviously you're going to have a bit better aim because you're going to be moving your hand a lot less. But with just a standard controller, it's actually pretty difficult to fire incredibly quickly and actually take advantage of the MP443's fire rate and still be accurate. So a lot of times I would try and spam it as fast as possible and then I would just spray for days and I would not be accurate. Or the opposite would happen and I would try and take as much time to aim up my shot so that way I could be a lot more accurate but then I really wasn't taking any advantage of the fire rate and I should have been using something else that maybe had a bit more damage. So definitely on PC this is going to be an amazing pistol. I can't see why anyone wouldn't use this but on console it's not quite as good although it is definitely usable. Now, I actually really enjoyed this challenge because I really couldn't win any time I went up against someone with a fast fire rate because obviously they're going to mow me down a lot faster than I can tap fire into their chest. And so I was mostly trying to sneak around, get behind people, either go for headshots, which was kind of hard because you had to be really, really close because obviously hit fire, it's not very accurate compared to ADSing, or I just had to get behind them, spray them down before they even noticed me because by the time they noticed me, they usually had enough time to turn on me and just completely ruin me. So I had to be really smart about how I approach every firefight. So this is probably one of my favorite clips that I got while recording this gameplay and I'm running around on Operation Locker and a really important thing about the MP443 is you really cannot engage multiple groups of enemies. So I see a couple people on my minimap, I start shooting at them. I know it's not going to end well so I just shoot up at the red pipe and I'm actually able to get a nice little triple kill just by shooting that red pipe and burning them to death. So if you're really smart about what's going on and you understand the map and how to use it, you can definitely turn out on top no matter what weapon you're using. Now you probably noticed by now that I made it a little bit easier for myself because I did throw on the suppressor. I use this for most of my secondaries just because I never really try to engage people at moderate range where the suppressor is going to hurt me. So usually I'll throw this onto my secondary, I can usually get a couple kills and that way it really keeps me off the minimap and I think that's much more important than being able to take out long range targets. So. I did throw this on just because it was really helpful so that way they couldn't see me and just turn on me because I'm already at a very large disadvantage versus everyone else. Now I actually did start off this challenge without a suppressor and it was going pretty well but every time I would come across maybe two or three people with their backs to me, I would start shooting at the first guy, everything was going well, I would kill him, move on to the second, but the, by the time I got to the second guy he'd already turned around because he noticed me on the minimap and he would pretty much take me out no problem. So. I would definitely recommend throwing on a suppressor, especially for something that you're not going to be, you know, shooting at extreme ranges with. And for something like a hit fire only challenge with the MP443, it really doesn't hurt you anyways, so I would definitely recommend throwing that on. So, that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you do have any loadouts you'd like us to try, you can leave those down in the comments below, or you can send us a message on our Twitter. Be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more awesome gaming content. And until next time guys, stay buttery.